Hi friends, welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be a little different. Uh, here, uh, nowadays we are hearing a lot about this chat GPT. So how we can use this chat GPT to create a simple app in Swift UI without using Google or without using Stack Overflow. Now there are many rumors that chat GPT is going to replace developers. I don't see any such thing when I use it. It's just like that it is going to give you uh, answer the way you go to mediums or you go to google or you go to stagger flow and get the answers from there in the same way instead of going through all that you can just come to this chat gpt and you can get few answers in a better way so let's see that if i have to create a list with some api call how i can do that so i'll just come to this chat gpt you can create an account it's free and here we can type let's say create a list with network call in Swift UI. Okay, and let's see what results we get. So see, it is giving you with all proper information. So what it does that it's created a view and just told you that on the on appear you can make the network API call. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just copy this code and put it here okay now this will not compile because uh, we don't have uh, any such variable here users okay we don't have this user model here but this list is created and then it also told me that we can use this on appear to make the network api call now let's say that if i have to use a uh, mvvm design pattern and i want to make my network call in the view model that means i need to create a view model also okay so let me go here and then tell the same thing to chatbot here what i'm going to do i'm going to write create view model with api call in swift ui okay now let me just see the answer so see uh, if you have to create a view model what we have to do we have to confirm to this observable object right and then it also wrote the method to fetch the users as it, it created this user model and the and if you see it also inserted this view model into the content view right looks very fantastic for me till now so i'll just again copy this part and then paste it here and then copy this view model object paste it here now this will be going to my view model as you can see here this is coming from view model so it's the same thing i'll copy it here and i will copy my view model also okay looks good so till now i have not written any code for my i'm just doing copy and pasting okay uh, so it is not finding user and then the one thing which got little wrong here that when it created a user view model uh, it's created as a struct type but it should be class type because this observable object cannot be confirmed from a struct so i'll just change this one to class or if you see that in the later if uh, this chatbot can give me some better answer the next thing is to create a user model so what i will do i'll just uh, tell to create a user model in Swift UI. Let's see. It looks fine. It created a struct user with name email because we don't have any property. So it just created a property from its own. Okay. So I'll just copy this and I'll paste it here again. So now I have the user model. I have the fetch users method, which actually has to call the API and uh, my view model everything is ready the only thing is that it doesn't confirm this uh, model to identity fever protocol so let me just tell uh, the same thing to chatbot so create user model and confirm to identity fever protocol so let's see what happens now so in this time it actually confirmed to identifiable earlier it was not so let me now just 
copy this keyword and now I think this error should also go away okay now the only thing is left is uh, making the API call so for that what I will do I'll just ask the same thing uh, make an API call in Swift UI in view model let's say if it gets some beta answer so it created this view model but it's, it's not making API call no it gave me pretty much the same answer right so let me just uh, type make an API call in Swift UI So see it created this codable so now I got this fetch user method defined so what I'm going to do I'm just going to copy this and go to my view model and here we go with our fetch user method right so it is see it is performing all the decoding and it is asking to confirm to codable and you can also see that this user is not confirming to codable okay so let me just copy and paste it here so now there is no error so what we have to do so once we get this uh, user data we have to assign it back to our users here okay or we can directly write here uh, users equals to this but in that case everything is fine it is asking you to replace try with try or let me just do it or let me just ask here that uh, uh, perform decoding with do catch block okay let's see if I get some proper answer now let's see the same answer what I was expecting I got it so I'll again copy this and then here paste it looks interesting for me till now that now I have this users so I can just directly assign this to my users okay and just do a print here looks good no error no warning what is this saying that uh, difference okay just assign make it use of weak self here and everything looks fine so we have our struct ready we have our view model ready with the api call fetching the data and uh, we have our view which is actually binding the name but this is just a dummy api so if you hit it i don't think you will get any data okay because there is no domain with uh, this with existing so i'll use uh, this json placeholder with comments okay now for this the object will be different so i'm not going to create this object from my own so what i will do let me just copy and tell the chatbot to do this so create model for this one and let's see what happens and this is really fantastic that it created actually a model by getting the data from this URL right and now it is also changing your uh, decoding uh, strategy from user to comment so let me just copy this and uh, replace uh, with uh, user with my comment everywhere okay so stuck to user I'll just change it to comment and uh, here also comment here also comment that's all right now for just uh, better visibility I'll change this to comments name so that it looks good and the same thing goes here and the same thing goes here 
now i'm done with all the coding without doing anything from my side without opening a google or stack overflow from my own so now let me run this and see if i'm getting the output so we don't see any data here let's see what's going wrong so okay so i didn't change my url so let me just put the proper url here and let me run it one more time and see the magic we have a list with the name what we are doing we are just binding the name right with all the names in the comment section without writing any code from your own so yeah this chatbot is really interesting but yeah it will not uh, replace your work in the future so don't worry about it so that's all for today's video hope you have really enjoyed watching this and working with this chat gpt if you really enjoyed this video then please do like comment share and subscribe the channel thank you